Good morning everyone. Hope all are fine. Today we are going to take our new topic addition. That is block 5 introduction to addition. Lesson 1. How many in all? Our aim is to find out how many in all by counting. Let's move to our topic. How many in all? Here there will be two boxes. It contains number of fishes. Can we see them? One, two, three, four, five, six. So two boxes are there. Box A contains four fishes and box B contains two fishes. Can you say how many in all? How many fishes here in all? Yes, six fishes in all. Let's move to another example. How many in all? Here there are two boxes. Heart shaped box and pentagon shaped box. In these boxes, number of dogs are here. Can we count? Let's count the number of dogs in heart shaped box. One, two, three, four. Now move to pentagon shaped box. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are ten dogs in total. How many in all? Ten, ten dogs. We can see two boxes here. Inside the box, there are ants. Can we count them? Let's count box 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In box 1, there are 5 ants. Move to box 2. 6, 7, 8, 9. So, how many ants in box 2? 4 ants. Now, can you tell me what is the total number of ants here? Yes, total number of ants are 9. 9 ants. Now, let's move to next. When we put two groups of things together and count how many in all are there, it is known as adding. Okay, children? Now let's see one question. Simi has four pencils and Arun has three pencils. How many pencils do they both have in all? Can you see? How can you get the answer? Now let's count and find the answer. First count the number of pencils that Simi has. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we can count the number of pencils that Arun has. 5, 6, 7. So they have 7 pencils in all. Take your workbook page number 22. Write the date on the top. Question number 1. Count the things. Write the number. You have to count and write the number. Question number two. Count and write how many things there are in all. First one is done for you. You can see six stars. How you got six? By counting one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Next two questions you have to do. What about third question? There is one orange on a plate and four oranges on another plate. How many oranges are there on both plates? You have to count and write your answer.
let's move to content book page number 29 you can see lesson 1 question number 1 count the things and write the number you have to count the things and write the number second question how many are there in all you have to just count and write the number there third question Anil has 4 marbles Smitha has 3 marbles how many marbles do they have in all you have to write the answer by yourself. I hope all have understood the topic we have done. Thank you children.